Hello friends, and today is January 4th. The reading is once again from the Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo, and here it goes something like this. Between peace and joy, we could never have guessed we were already blessed where we are. James Taylor. This reminds me of a woman who found a folded sponge all dried and compressed, and tucked inside the hardened fold was a message she'd been seeking. She carried the hardened sponge to the sea and up to her waist in the deep. She watched it unfold and come to life in the water. Magically, the secret of life became visible in the bubbles beginning being released from the sponge. And to her amazement, a small fish trapped in sleep in the hardened sponge came alive and swam out to sea. From that day on, no matter where she went, she felt the little fish swimming in the deep. And this, the swimming of the little fish that had for so long been asleep, gave her a satisfaction that was somewhere between peace and joy. Whatever our path, whatever the color or grain of our days, whatever riddles we must solve to stay alive, the secret of life somehow always has to do with the awakening and freeing of what has been asleep. Like that sponge, our very heart begs to unfold in the waters of our experience. And like that little fish, the soul is a tiny thing that brings us peace and joy when we let it swim. But everything remains hard and compressed and illegible until, like this woman, waist deep in the ocean, we take our sleeping heart in our hands and plunge it tenderly into the life we are living. With your eyes closed, meditate on the image of a hardened sponge unfolding like a flower underwater. As you breathe, practice seeing your heart as such a sponge. The next time you do the dishes, pause, hold the hardened sponge in the water and feel your heart unfold. And what a wonderful... Um, I, analogy and and way to look at our our life because you know the way I see it and a lot of the work that I do I have found that me myself and people I work with we get stuck in these roles in these ideas of who we think we are or who others think that we are and we are hard and crusty and yucky and it's not fun and it's not where it's not where we shine it's not where we swim in the in the in the beautiful ocean right and when at, when i'm hearing this i'm at, that's what i'm thinking of the confinement of being in a space and a place where you feel stuck and you're doing things that don't speak to you and you're and you're just like that quote it reminds me of that quote i didn't just I don't just live my life to pay bills and die, pay taxes and die or whatever it is. And and so that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of getting the bravery and the courage to go out there and put my whole heart and my whole self into what I'm doing and 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 that's where that's where the beauty of that peace and joy and that swim of peace and joy when that freedom comes and the freedom is possible believe me I didn't think it was but it is so I hope you all have an awesome day I have a new a couple new things going on I have my website has it's at vickyrude.com we've just made some updates to it I have a course coming out on January 22nd play your way to self-acceptance and we also have a manifestation worksheet. If that's something you're interested in, there's going to be a link to sign up for the email list and you'll get that manifestation. It's good for 2020. It kind of gives you a template of all these manifestation things we keep hearing about, but it actually guides you through um, something that I've done and, and has worked for me. So anyways, have a beautiful day. Be well. Namaste, Vicki.